It's going to be a very busy week on the debt market this week. We're expecting 440.17 billion naira to hit the system today on the 33rd. That's open market operations uh, maturities. Then the DMO to do a treasury bond auction on Wednesday, reopening of three papers. A very big week there for Ifueko Lotus Market Street. She's joining us uh, from Af Access Bank. She's an FX dealer. And it's left to us from FMDQ Exchange Place. Good morning, um, uh, um, uh, Ofeko. I hope you had a great weekend. Yes, I did. I hope you did as well. I did. Thank you so much. I was a little bit under the weather, by the way, but uh, got a lot of uh, <laughs> herbs and things like that. Pump yeah, up the system all you. through the weekend. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. So how big is this weekend uh, on, the, on the debt market side? Uh, well, it's a little bit short on Friday. So uh, where is the big money coming through this week? The interplay of the auctions we're expecting and the maturities and other inflows that you think will come in. Perhaps some part of the $700 billion FAC money will flow to your market. Yes. So, of course, um, we're, we're already seeing FAC in the market. And then, of course, of course, coupled with the TBO maturities of over 400 billion coming into the market, I mean, um, immediately we're going to see a bullish streak in the TBO's market. And for the bond market, though, we might still see a bit of cautiousness um, because of the anticipated supply of bonds in the system on Wednesday um, due to the 150 billion bond auction. But for the T-bills market, starting from today, we're going to see some um, bullish reactions to the improved liquidity in the market. Also, we expect the CBN to also come to mop off excess liquidity at an normal auction. So ex instead of maybe one, we expect multiple auctions this week. Um, so um, on the FX market, though, we still see that there's going to be the retail auction and the wholesale auction. So that will still mop off some liquidity. So, I mean, um, by and large, it's a um, strong um, bullish trend on T-bills. And for bond auction, a bit of cautiousness um, due to the anticipated bond auction. Yes, uh, speaking a little bit to the... Uh, FX market, the I&E window, the volume uh, last week was uh, down by about 40% or so. Week, uh, that was last week. Uh, what's the sense here in terms of what foreign portfolio investors are, are coming through uh, with the I&E window? Do you think the volume is beginning to taper in vis-a-vis -vis the level of uh, FX reserves that we are holding at the moment, which is uh, shrinking by the day? Um, we'd, we'd have to wait uh, maybe a week or two more to just um, develop a trend before we make any conclusions. Um, however, worthy to note though is that a lot of this, um, a lot of the bills that are being are maturing too, um, are um, FPI investors are holders of these bills. So a lot of them are actually rolling over. So for you to see. Um, new monies coming, so you're looking at new funds coming into the portfolio or new portfolio managers coming into the system. So it's a lot of rollovers that we're seeing from the, from the FPIs. But before we make any conclusions, we'll have to see another week or two of um, reduced or tapering in the um, FX inflows from the FPIs before we make any conclusions. Yeah. Was there any central bank weekly interventions at the FX window last week? Oh, yes, there was. Um, the central bank came in with the wholesale. Um, also, the retail results were, came in on Friday as well. So the central bank brought in the usual um, $100 million for the auction. Um, and we still saw about almost $300 million in um, the FX retail auction as well. And coupled with the SME and invisibles uh, sold across the market. Okay, great. If I call to thank you so much uh, for the cutting razor on our market street for the new week starting today, September the 23rd. Thank you so much. Enjoy the thank rest you. of the day and the week from Access Bank, FX dealer, uh, live to us from FMDQ Exchange Place.